Hi guys and welcome back. Today's video is a chit chat gear with me, literally wash and go. So this is detangled deep condition hair. I use the Manuka Honey and Mephora oil from Shea Moisture. I'm gonna use up these two, so I'm gonna do a dynamic duo of these which are my, I do have a dynamic duo of how I mix these two and I'll list it over here so you guys can check it out. But I'm going to use this in my coconut oil and we're literally gonna wash and go. I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair is gonna air dry. So right now I am going to get in, this is detangled and I wanna do, do a chit chat, get ready with me because I wanna share some hacks for you all that have children with hair and me growing up with natural hair so that's basically what i wanted to do so literally you're gonna see me like we're going going to like get ready together so right now let me just go rinse this out i am going to leave the twist in and rinse out that manuka honey and mephora oil put in my coconut oil which i'm going to show you guys another hack and We'll go from there. I wanna just talk about some hair hacks while we do this chit chat, get ready with me. And I'll probably just dedicate a whole video on hair hacks. And this is high porosity, low porosity, and then I'll designate which ones I think are for high porosity. So first of all, if you don't have a cape and you wanna keep this closed, I like to like actually clip it on the side because it does come a loose being right in front of me. Just take a hair clip, clamp it. Bada bing, bada boom. You have salon cape. Next thing is, um, I love to rinse out my conditioner on as cold as I can take it. It's gonna bring shine, and it's also gonna close that cuticle for those of you that are high porosity. And I like to go ahead, while the water's still in my head like this, is go ahead with the lock method. Now I'm going to clip this off to the side. I start in the back and just to let you know, sorry, let me show you this. This is another hack. Um, actually either wrap or ball up the, with a clip, each end, it will keep the moisture in your hair and the ends. So I like to like roll them up or bunch them up like that and it keeps all the moisture in where it doesn't start to dry out as quick. So now I'm going to take my coconut oil. I'm sh I showed a hack, I'm gonna show a picture of how to actually melt your oils without putting them in the microwave because that's not good. Um, you want to use some water which i'm going to put a clip right here and show you another so this is my coconut oil i actually already had it in here i just wanted to show y'all me placing it in here but this is a hack you never want to put your oils directly into the microwave it can zap all the nutrients and all of the good stuff out just like you know breast milk i would say the same concept so you definitely want to put it in here because coconut oil melts at such a high level, I wanna say six, uh, 76 degrees or something like that, 74, I can't remember, I'll put it in here if I can remember, um, but it's already melting if you can see. So that's a hair hack for you guys. Okay, so we're back and I'm taking my coconut oil. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Okay, I saturate my hand. And the good thing about coconut oil is that it penetrates the hair shaft even while it's closed or through the hair shaft, even with me closing it. And I just go from end, root to end, end to root. And I really do like to saturate it, detangle it, and then twist it back. And then I will actually, I don't want it to start drying yet. Well, actually it could. So I kind of like don't really mind it being twisted out like that. Now that I have it coated with the coconut oil. So I just go around my hair head. What is this? Clockwise, counterclockwise? Either way, 
I do like to get the fronts because this around my edges tends to dry out really fast too. So then again, I'm taking my coconut oil. Okay, so I can get right into this chit chat, growing up natural. Uh, a couple of hacks or a couple of things that my mom did and I did want to show you all some things if you have high porosity hair or your daughter has high porosity hair or your son has high porosity hair. Um, basically, if they have high porosity or low porosity, I would just still follow the lock method for high porosity LCO for low porosity. But I do want to share uh, if you're having issues with detangling, which a lot of times when you have uh, girls or daughters or sons with thick, that thick hair that you feel like you can't get through. The key is going to be a spray bottle and a really, you can take an inexpensive conditioner, but you want to make sure that it has excellent slip. And one that's super duper cheap from the drugstore is the VO5. Uh, I think the VO5 conditioners. This one is moisturizing. This one is really good. This is a moisture milk and it does not contain silicone. So you actually can leave this in their hair as well but you definitely in rinsing their hair out you want to make, make sure you are detangling you can finger detangle through it and the way that you know you have enough i mean these things are like 88 cents at the most like a dollar something so you're not spending a lot go to the dollar tree they have them there uh, Suave has a good one, but you can also take your spray bottle, spray it through the hair, then take the conditioner and you just want to detangle in sections. That's the other thing you want to do. My mom always did our hair in sections and then taking a big wide comb and combing through it and then really getting those edges are, is really gonna help where the hair looks very polished and kept, if that's the look you wanna go for. And then she, uh, everything I'm showing you right now is what my mom did back in the day. Okay, and retwisted it and then went to the next one and then went to the next one. Um, <laughs> the only good thing she didn't use was, she didn't use oil, she used blue magic. Okay, Petro you know, the petroleum stuff, but it still worked for my hair. I mean, my hair got super duper long. If I can ever find the picture of how long my hair actually got, it was like to my bottom. Um, I will show that one day. See, the twist helps with the detangling and make sure you like rinse out twist. You can either twist their hair up, deep condition, twist it up and I highly suggest like not detangling until after the conditioning or the pre-poo. Pre-poo, if, if that oil still has to be penetrated before you start detangling. And basically my video of con deep conditioning on dry hair is like pre-pooing pretty much. I'm, I am gonna come with a video as to why I don't deep condition on dry hair anymore. That is my pre-poo, but I will come and do a actual deep conditioning. So, as you can tell, I'm getting a little bit, I feel like you'd lose more, less hair too, by the way, when you do it this way. Okay. I put my oil in and then I'm going to twist. So twisting. Then we're going to go back with our deep conditioner. No, I'll leave the conditioner in our gel. So see how frizzy that is? Um, your gel and your leave-in conditioner. To me, me having one with no glycerin really helps with that. Okay, so I'm just measuring this mixing the two of my dynamic duo and I'm gonna put this on my hair and that's gonna be it but yeah growing up natural that's basically what she did to my hair I wanted to answer some of you all's questions that have um, I hope that helped that 
you know, just to make sure you have like slip, a conditioner with slip, a good oil. Really, sometimes you don't even need a styling. If you have a good like curling cream that's conditioning, or you can actually mix this too, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, to me, those are great for high porosity hair. Um, girls, I don't know how it would work on low porosity. I haven't seen the reviews of the Curl Enhancing Smoothie on low porosity hair, but I would just check those and just make sure I think the biggest thing that I've had is that people say that they can't get a comb through their child's hair and it, I think it's because you know of the detangling method that they're using now in terms of long lasting styles my mother always had us she had five girls so she always had us in French braids so if you want lost long lasting styles or you can always do twist and then take down the twist for like church or something and just learn how to morph one style do twist and then do a twist out and just you could put bows and you know just style it up let me know if you guys want to see a video i might have to like take one of my friends <laughs> daughters and do it that way so yeah but I'm gonna saturate this right around the edges and y'all I'm gonna let my hair dry and then I have to and then we're gonna go this side is done This is literally a wash and go. Okay. Washing my hair, styling it, and go. I think that's what it's like. No, you know, extra. Most people get wash and go. They're like, you don't literally wash and go. Well, of course not. But it's not altering. You're not changing the style. You're not twisting the hair. You're literally like, styling your hair and you going as is, so to speak. So I'm just taking the product. And I do prayer hands that like really clumps the curls and then I will loose them like that. And what I'm going to do, I'll show you in another video what I'm going to do in terms of I like to like put more on one side and then I'll show you the secret that I do for volume And that's it so thanks so much for getting ready with me I hope that answers some questions I am going to come with a Q&A a little bit um, later I'm gonna wait a bit get some questions from you guys and come with a Q&A but I literally wanted to do a wash and go and a chit chat re get ready with me specialized for my mommies out there that has kiddos or if you're a TT or what have you if you have kids so, ta -da. And guess what? This is all the hair that we lost. Disgusting, but I had to show y'all, okay? All the hair. I will post a picture of the finer result, or I will put a video pic and show you guys, and that's it. I just let my hair air dry. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.